Hey, this is weird, really weird. I've never done a Periscope where you can see my face before. Um, can you guys tell me if you can hear me okay? Gosh, there are a lot more of you than I thought. So um, just in case you didn't see my uh, Instagram earlier, I am not doing a Bible page. So um, if you're here for that, I'm really sorry. But um, I had a couple people in the last couple weeks ask about uh, my planner and um, how I keep... We are not crafting. I'm talking about my planner, um, which is actually um, just a notebook that I bullet journal in. And I had some people ask how I set that up. So I thought I would give you guys a sneak peek because I just started a new one this week and it's way more organized than anything I've done previously. Um, does anybody um, here already uh, bullet journal? Is that a thing? Do people do that besides me? Thank you, Adrian, for inviting followers. That was awfully sweet of you. You do kind of. Okay, I must admit, I'm kind of a bullet journal um, girl. I'm not... Um, I probably don't do it right, but I do it in a way that works for me. So, oh gosh, there's so many of you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first, let me say that for many years, this is what I have used for a planner. Um, it's the Life Planner by Erin Condren, and it's beautiful, but it's massive, and I hate that I can't carry it in my purse. Um, and I'm just going to show you the inside of it in case you're not familiar. Um, the, the days go this way, um, which does not work for how I plan. So I decided that I needed to do something different. Um, so for the last um, probably four or five months, I have used just a moleskin journal. Um, this is a flexible one and it has dotted pages. Um, I don't know if you can tell because they're kind of faint, but um, they're laid out in a grid pattern, um, but they're dots, not lines. And um, essentially just, it's kind of a collection of lists and notes. And so um, I liked the way this worked, but um, once the school year started and I saw everybody sharing their pretty planners, I got the pretty planner bug again and I decided that maybe I needed to have one. So um, I really wanted the spiral bound um, bandeau planner and it was sold out everywhere. So I ordered this one um, which is a five by seven hardback and it's really pretty. <laughs> it's gold, which I love. And it came with this fun little, um, fun little book of stickers. Um, and it's pretty and that's about all I can say about it. I'm sorry. Um, it doesn't open flat. Um, it doesn't even come close, even though the website says that it lays flat. And so I found it increasingly difficult to use. But I felt kind of bad because I bought it and it's pretty and all the other planner girls are using it and I felt like I should too. Um, but really, I just longed to go back to my moleskin with all of my lists. So I happened to be in Books A Million earlier in the week to pick up something else and I thought, oh, I'll just grab a new moleskin and start fresh or see what other kind of journals they have. And I found this amazing notebook. Um, also gold and white, which I loved. It is by Design Inkworks. Um, it was $9. It has um, an exposed spine, but this is the best part. It lays completely flat. Um, like, I can leave it flat on my desk all day long, and it's super, super easy to write in. It just has lined pages. Um, anyway, it's just a notebook. But I loved it so much that... I bought two um, because I was afraid that I would go back and they wouldn't have any more. So I'm going to let you see the front. Um, it said notebook right here and I just used some of the bandeau stickers and put my initials. Yes, books a million. It was like $9.99 or $10.99 um, and I love the way it lays flat. So I'm going to give you just a quick overview of how I, well, first let me tell you what bullet journaling is. Um, it's essentially just a collection of lists to help you plan your life. Um, you can go to the bullet journaling website and they have a great video that shows you how um, how they suggest that you lay things out. And I took a lot from that website, but um, after many uh, tries over the summer, I found some things that work for me and some things that don't. Um, one of the things that does not work for me is they suggest that you list your month out um, vertically. So like on, you know, on each line of the paper, like one, two, three, four, all the way, you know, however many days there are in that month, and then write out your, you know, like important days that way. Um, and then to do sort of a list for each day of tasks and things like that. Um, of course, I dropped something. Um, 
But laying out my calendar that way was not helpful to me at all. And so I started just drawing a calendar um, at the beginning of each month, but then I needed a place to put future dates and I couldn't figure out how to do that. So this is the system that works best for me. Um, in the very front of the notebook, I have an index. And those um, numbers are the page numbers. Um, and so I just number the pages as I go, just however many pages I have currently um, written on. And then I just kind of give a range. So I did three months of calendars at the beginning. Um, and so pages one through six are, um, this actually should say Q4. It's the fourth quarter of the year. Um, October, November, October, November, and December. Um, and then I like the graph paper better, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to like the lines. Um, and so then um, my October lists start on page seven. And so obviously I didn't put the end page yet because I don't know how many pages that's going to take. And then um, um, on page nine, I have my um, November blog calendar. So I keep an editorial calendar to kind of keep track of posts for the next month. And so that's on page nine. And so just as I add things to the list, I'll add it here to the index so that it's easy to find. And then when I start on my November lists, you know, I'll put the new page and I'll put you know, the ending page of October. So I can always come back to this index to figure out where in the book things are. So I left um, four or five pages for the index because I realized quickly that I didn't leave enough pages the first time I did this. So after the index, I have three months worth of calendar layouts. And I just laid it out, you know, just like a, a day planner month at a glance would be. I, have, I start on Monday and I have the four um, weekdays, I guess there's five weekdays, but I have Monday through Thursday on the left-hand page. And then I have um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on the right-hand page. And I just, you know, laid them out in a grid. And this is just for um, like planning in advance, you know, in advance, like appointments or vacation, um, school tasks. You can see the, um, the pink notations are... Um, Ella's dance classes are the same every week, but I wrote those in a different color just so they stand out. Um, if I make a mistake or something gets moved, I just draw an arrow to the new you know, date or whatever. So that's how I'm planning out um, my months. So I have October, November, and December already done. And since my other calendar came with fun, pretty stickers, I'm using them, but I'm not going to be that decorative planner girl that plans out, I mean, decorates every single page. I can't. Keeping up with my Bible is enough. Um... But I do like that I can doodle, you know, or add things um, here and there if I like. So then this is how my weekly pages look. Um, I divide each day. If you can hear the screaming in the background, my kids are in the shower right now and they are not being nice to one another. So I apologize. Um, so I just lay out uh, my daily pages or weekly pages really into two columns. And um, the, the real bullet journal suggests that you keep a list for every day, but my mind doesn't work like that. I usually have a list for the next couple of days. And so I just kind of do a weekly list. So you can see this is the date range for this particular week. And these were all of the things that I needed to accomplish. And I just use a black pen and then I have a pink pen that I mark out things as I get them done. Um, I have some work tasks here that I wrote in pink, just a different color so that I could kind of tell them apart. I have a to buy section. So I just keep a running list of grocery items or things I need to pick up. Um, while I'm out and about. Um, this side is actually um, for design orders. I do freelance graphic design, so I have two different order uh, lists going because I'm working on holiday cards now. And so um, I've got, you know, due dates and I can mark them off as I go. Um, and I already have the next page divided into columns here. So I'll just continue to add to the list and mark things off as I go. I can add, you know, appointments. Um, if for some reason I need to add something that is not within the first three months that I already have laid out, um, I just keep a sticky note. Um, I haven't added one yet because I don't have anything planned out for January, but um, I just keep a sticky, sticky note. And if I make an appointment in January, February, March, I'll just write it on the sticky note. Um, and then when I lay out those three months, um, I can just add those appointments, you know, as I go. The other um, thing that I lay out ahead of time are... So I have an editorial calendar for November. Um, unlike September and October, I typically only post three days a week. So I have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday column. Um, and these are just blog post ideas. Some of these are already drafted and so they're set in stone. And some of them are just, oh, I hope to get to it this day. 
Um, sometimes I'll use mini sticky notes for these so that I can move them around a little bit. Um, but generally this works for me. And then on the bottom half, I just have a place for ideas, maybe for the next month or like a little bit more fleshed out of, of the things that are up here. Um, and on this side, this says November miles. Um, this is for running so that I can keep a log of how many miles I run. Um, I haven't done great in October. Um, and that really this bullet journal is starting in November. Um, I just had, you know, the one week of October in here. So I just went ahead and laid this out um, for next month. And so I'll just be able to write, you know, in my mileage. Um, I had already meal planned for the week when I laid out this weekly spread. Um, but probably starting next week, I'll have um, some you know, place for meal planning here at the top of the page. Um, actually have, um, hold on, I'll show it to you. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave, leave the screen. Um, so I need to share this on the blog, but I actually created a grocery and meal planning um, printable for us as a family because grocery shopping is terrible. Um, I always forget something and we literally get the exact same foods every week. Um, we may have some variation in what we cook for dinner, but as far as just the fresh foods that we keep around the house, um, I, we buy the same thing all the time. And so I would call my husband and say, hey, what do we need from the store? And he would say, the usual. And I would always forget something. So at the beginning of October, we sat down and wrote a list of every single thing that we ever buy from the grocery store. Every single thing. And I divided it into categories. And I typed up a list that already has all of our items on it. It also has some uh, some extra space, but um, so when I go to the grocery store on Saturdays, I take this list out and I go through my pantry and my refrigerator and I just go ahead and cross off the list anything that we don't need to buy for that day um, and so or for that week. So then everything that's left are items that we need, and if there's anything extra, then I just put those under the appropriate categories, and I have it categorized by like produce, veggies, fruits, snacks, pantry items, um, have pet supplies and bathroom supplies and other and stuff like that. Um, but at the top, it has a meal plan section. I don't know how easy it is for you to tell there. So it has three columns, um, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or most of the time I just write the item, the things that we're going to cook for dinner here. And then like maybe side items or whatever. I mean, you can do it however you want, but this is why I don't typically meal plan in my calendar because I have this handy dandy little thing. Um, but I may also, I don't know, have a meal planning section. So I realized that was kind of random. We lost a lot of followers, so I'm guessing a lot of people didn't really care about bullet journaling, but um, do I lay out enough weekly spreads for the whole month at a time? No, um, usually I'll just do two or three pages at a time, and then when I start to push you know, onto the last page, then I'll go ahead and do a couple extra. Um, I just keep a ruler in my desk drawer at work, and so I'll pull it out and, you know, add columns as I need to. Uh, I don't always draw out the borders. Uh, let me show you. In my previous journal, I just wrote out the lists. Hang on and I'll find one. Um, so, you know, these are all the things I needed to accomplish um, on different dates. So, like this is October 31st and September 4th. This is September 8th. This is the 10th and 11th. So, see, I don't always do one for each Um for each day, you know, this one just says weekend. Um, let's see. I was going to see if there's a different layout. Here's another page where, you know, I divided it this way. Um, but really, I think I like the vertical lists better. So I'm trying that for the month of November, and we'll see how it goes. I also like um, the bullet journal because it gives me places to doodle, <laughs> which you guys know that I love. Um, and so also I did Whole30 the month of August. And so I had um, a calendar where I wrote what I ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I had little um, circles that I filled for how many um, bottles of water I drank every day. And I would, you know, cross it out as I went. So um, that's the thing about bullet journaling that I like the most. Yes, it is awesome. Um, that's the thing I like about bullet journaling the most is because if I add something that, um, if I need to add something to it, I, I totally can. Um, the meal plan was actually created in um, Adobe Illustrator, um, which I realize not everybody has, but I'm thinking about doing um, an Excel version that you can download um, and sharing it on the blog sometime soon. Um, and so then you could just edit the items that you wanted. Um, and it would be easy. Um, let's see. I was just going to flip through and make sure there's not some other like, spread that I haven't showed you. 
but I don't think so. Um, other bullet journalers that I follow um, sometimes have like, they'll have action items that they need to do that day, like the three most important things they, they do, or they'll keep up with books that they read, or um, I, I plan to keep up uh, my Christmas list this way, um, you know, the things that I need to buy and things that have already been purchased and, um, you know, any research that I do about where I can find things or how much things are going to cost or budgeting or um, anything like that. So you really can customize it. Um, and I just honestly haven't found a planner that meets all of my needs. Um, I like the concept of a spiral binding because I like for it to lay flat, but um, I find it really difficult to write in when there's a spiral binding. So um, this little notebook works best for me. Um, I flew through that and I talked really fast. I'm sorry. But um, if you have any other questions, let me know. And if not, I am going to go eat pizza and watch Thursday night television um, with my kids. Not not watch Thursday night television with my kids. Eat pizza with my kids. Um, you're welcome, Brianna. Thanks for joining. No questions? Yay. Well, thanks, guys, uh, for joining in. Uh, yes, Grey's Anatomy. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's on the list of things to do tonight. Um, tabs. Oh, I probably, I don't know if I'll put tabs, but I will say, like, uh, this fell on the floor earlier. Uh, I usually do keep just a little um, tassel on a paper clip to show. Oh, Grace isn't new tonight. You're totally right. Um, gosh, no Thursday night TV. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. So I usually just use this little bookmark um, to keep up with where I am. Um, I don't know, Jen, what will we talk about tonight? Um, but, um, I have done tabs in the past, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, I may, um, do an update on the blog later in the month after I've actually used this new system for a few weeks and let you know, uh, how it works. So, will you guys enjoy Charlie Brown? Um, yeah, let's make a bullet journal and now we have nothing to watch tonight. Oh, how to get away with murder. Okay, well, we can watch that. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good night and we'll check.